What do you want? Yeah. Norman. Can he? Can. I'm a bit late up today. I've had a lay in. But I've got slightness, slight dizziness going on with my head again today. So I hope it doesn't get any worse and it actually gets better like it did yesterday. Because I don't need another day of feeling like I did the other day. <laughs> day again sun is shining a few clouds in the sky and it did rain quite heavily last night which seems to have stopped so that's good fingers crossed we don't get rain again later I've just come upstairs as there was a lot of running backwards and forwards in the bathroom I could hear it from downstairs and this one came out of the bathroom and so did this one what you two been doing eh I'm talking to you, don't walk away. Ken. Kenny. Kenny. What was you doing? Norman. Was you being a naughty boy? So there isn't anything to report. Everything's where it should be. So I don't know what was going on there. We definitely have two guilty looking cats. Yes, you. I'm talking about you two. Are you guilty boy? Okay, so Kenny's gone downstairs now. And you can hear him. Kenny can be verbal at times. Norma's got more of a high-pitched voice. Whereas Kenny's a bit deeper. The sofa that's downstairs is going, as is the coffee table, just for the record. This is the chicken going in the oven now, ready for the foxes. My late breakfast is Jordan's Country Crisp with strawberries and another cup of coffee. There we go, a plate full of cooked chicken pieces ready to be stripped down, bones taken out ready for the foxes as I know they love that and I've also mixed in here some bread in with the juices of the chicken 
and then that can go in with their raw minced chicken later on once it's all cooled down but i know they absolutely love this but it's all healthy because there's no added fat or sugar or the sugar salt or anything it's all natural juices that have come straight from the chicken um, and there would have been a little bit of water added into that as well as i always put a bit of water in the bottom of the tray before i start cooking the chicken so it leaves it nice and moist for them neither of us fancied a cooked dinner today so at the moment we're going to have a warm chicken sandwich each and then probably eat something else again later right chip has arrived very early it is 7 38 and i haven't looked there's no food out yet even so let me get a bit of food out get on then babes oh there's a car coming so she'll just run for a moment hopefully she won't go too far okay the car's turned off before we got here chip that's just turning around up there chip chip I was just upstairs I happened to go into Carol's room because we're going to change the cat's water and she was here but now there's another car coming it's all happening now isn't it goodness sake yeah he's a neighbor he just slowed right down because obviously he's either seen Chip but I can't see her now okay right well Chip was here a moment ago so I'll go back in for a moment there is a car just stopped up there so she won't come for a moment i don't suppose right hopefully i'll be back in a minute okay so chip is still there she's just you can just see her to the right of dave come on my babes you're very early tonight not complaining of course no i'm not well, there is some food out in the bowl which is some br that bread soaked in the chicken juices as well as some chicken a dog food See what she wants tonight there. Come on then, my lovely. Come on. Come on, babes. Somebody's just getting in that car up there, I think. That's what it sounds like. Yeah, this one's really early for her. Well, like I say, not complaining. Be nice to see them all early. Then I can get to bed earlier. Plus, I have got work in the morning, so... I won't be having a late one tonight. Come on, baby girl. There we are. You're very early, aren't you? Are you okay? Yeah? Everything all right with you? Is it? Just as well I was ready with the food. I say it was in the porch ready. I just hadn't put any out because I wasn't about. I was upstairs sorting out some laundry and stuff. I thought, yeah, I'll just look out the window. Well, I always do if I go in Carol's room. Looked out and there she was, bless her heart. And I called her and she heard me through the window and she hung around so I could come down to her. And she waited, little, little love that she is. Come on then, baby. Come on. Come on, baby girl. I'm just leaning in because I've got the raw chicken pieces here as well. Come on. There's some nice food in that bowl tonight as well. There is. Oh yes. So you're gonna take a piece of that chicken, are you? No doubt she'll be back. Okay, there we go folks. That was Chip Chip. Good evening, Dave. Right, I'm gonna go back in. Carry on doing what I was doing. I say there is some food out in the bowl. There's a few bits out there now, so and I'll check and we'll keep checking the camera, see if she comes back again.
Hopefully we'll see Cookie tonight as well because he hasn't been for the last two nights. So three nights in a row and then nothing. But that's Cookie. He does do that. Obviously want to see Pip, Jimmy and Daphne. And I am still keeping out an eye for this injured fox. Again, hasn't been for the last two nights. But I've got the antibiotics there ready. So fingers crossed it will come back, whoever it may be. Or maybe it was just a random fox passing by and stopped off for some food. Who knows? I guess time will tell. I just don't like to see any of the foxes injured. Really, I don't. Anyway, need to get in, wash my hands. This one. I know I've scratched my face with it, but that's that finger. I haven't touched the chicken with that. But I need to go wash my hands now because I've been touching the raw chicken. Right, so we'll see who comes next. 